Welcome, friends, to a new series of Lineage Helios Edition. We just wrapped up our Infinity Infinite Odyssey series. I don't know if you guys have been watching that, but if you have, I, I appreciate all of the awesome support that you've given me. And I figured it'd be a good time to start off in Helios. So, since we uh, updated to Helios, or uh, Lineage is updated to Helios, I'd start off a new series. Now, we're going to pick up exactly where we left off. Uh, from the Infinite Odyssey series. So I am still a Kamel. I'm level 69 and I'm currently working in the Swamp of Screams. So I'm not going to do a bunch of grinding on camera because you know you guys know how to grind. It's boring. You know it's not it's not so fun. So I'm going to do that off camera. But what I figured I would do today since we're in Helios is I'm going to start doing some city tours. Some people have given me some tips and things that they want to see. And, oh, look at this. We got some mail. Zahihira. Hello again. It's been four days. Saw your last video. Catching up with my best friend and I. We're working on getting our characters to level 76. Sucks you have to pay to teleport to cities after 76. Keep up with the good videos. Thanks, Zahira. I am super happy that you are enjoying the series. I appreciate it. Now, here's what's funny is if you were playing this back in the day anytime you uh, had to teleport at all you had to pay no matter what so this is kind of nice to not have to do it after level 76 so you're kind of been a little bit uh, spoiled here but when I played this back uh, in the pay to play days I had to pay for every teleport so there was that too and here's another thing games to try revelation online I might have to check that out uh, Echo of Soul and Forsaken World and Guild Wars 2. You guys might see me play some of these games as well. Thank you for the tip, Zahira. I appreciate it. And also, if you guys want to play with me, I am on the Chrono server. You guys can. Uh, you guys already know that from your first uh, series. If this is your first time here, thanks for coming out. I appreciate the support. And if you do get a chance, go back and check out my Infinite Odyssey series. It was super fun to do, and you guys can see how I got to this point right here so let's take a look at Stuttgart um, I took I've been kinda exploring a little bit and this is the main area looks like we've got a castle it's got sweet flames above my head which is super cool it makes me look even more epic than I really am and the gatekeepers here in the corner pretty awesome and it's got like this little staircase like um, awning area that kinda goes into the big castle and if we kinda step back here um, Look, it's kind of a big deal. Like, it's kind of built into the mountain. It's super cool. Um, but it looks like most of the city is kind of in a big arc. Uh, let's take a look at the map, and we can see what's going on. So, if we... Can we can we go out? Oh, no, it goes out like that. So, it looks like a lot of the stuff is inside. we got the Warrior Guild inside, the Enhi Enhasad, Ein Hasad Temple and uh, Magic Guild. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm sure you guys will blow me up in the comments for that, which is funny. we got the Kameo Guild over here, the Oak Guild, kind of in a horseshoe around like this going clockwise. We've got the Dark Elf Guild, the Warehouse, Dimensional Merchant, Blacksmith Shop, Weapons and Armor Shop, Grocery Shop, Guard Captain, and you guys have already seen this stuff. We're right here by the Gatekeeper. We've got the Beauty Shop and the Auction House. So it's kind of cool. I mean, and then it's got this this main... This main thing leads right out to the outside. So let's take a look around here and take a look at some of the architecture. So um, some of the things that were over this way, uh, we've got some clan halls here. Oh, let's peek in there. Let's see what's going on. I know some of you guys have requested some of these tours, which is, is a lot of fun. I haven't got a chance to do them, and it gives me something to record and show you guys about. Um, well, I'm not grinding, you know, and it, you know, it's, it's a little bit tough. So thanks. Also, thanks to all the people that gave me all the tips. You know, I really appreciate um, the really lengthy comments. They're really super helpful. I really appreciate every single one of them. They are, I, I enjoy them. I read through them very thoroughly, and I am going to get to all that stuff. So I'm going to take all your suggestions. I'm going to go back to where I was leveling and hopefully get to level 70 and unlock that uh, next. If you guys watch the finale, um, I was asking for a lot of help. Um, and some of the help I was talking about is a lot of the stuff that I want is like, magical gear and things like that and it's you got to pay for it which is tough so we're not going to do that but um, some of you guys mentioned that I should go back to the other place that I was at so yeah and um, we here's the main entrance 
pretty cool. So yeah, some of you guys gave me a lot of suggestions. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go back to level in the Swamp of Screams where I was grinding before. It's just tedious and long, and I really didn't want to do that um, on camera. So let's take a look at the rest of Shutgard, and then we'll wrap up this video. I'm glad that you guys are here. If you guys had a chance to check out my first series in Lineage, uh, it was a lot of fun. And if you guys want a, a way to find out how to get here through the game to get to level 69 that's a really good kind of tutorial on what you need to do it's a lot of following Kikropus and his quests and Sakum and things like that but it's been a, a lot of fun uh, here's the warehouse oh what do I do I have anything in my warehouse have I been saving stuff um, doesn't look like that's the person I need and it doesn't look like you are either where's the manager dude Okay, these people. Keepers. Here we go. Private warehouse. Claim an item. Do I have anything in here? Oh, I have all my old gear. This stuff's all useless. <laughs> A grade. What is that? <laughs> so, yeah, Stuttgart. This is a super cool place. I really like this. Oh, it's kind of like a steampunky feel. Look at it. It's got, like, the gears and stuff. Wow. This is cool. So, I think this is the blacksmith over here. Oh, can we not get in here? Oh. We go in right here. I see. Oh, cool. The Mithril Trader. Can we get Mithril? I want to trade something. We can get Solvents. B grade Gemstones. C grade, D grade. This is probably if you're using a Dwarven class, I would imagine. Yeah. I'm going to guess. Can you tell me about my second class? Class transfer. Yeah, I think this is all dealing with if you're taking the Dwarven race. So you guys are probably spending a lot of time in here. Just super fun. So Helios, I am super excited for all of the new material. And since we are kind of wrapping up and getting into uh, different parts of the game, we're going to get into end game stuff, which is going to be super cool. So I'm going to see if I can maybe try to get into a clan and start maybe doing a clan war and things like that. What do you guys think? If you guys are into Helios and you guys have some clans, let me know. Um, I'm definitely interested. Here's the weapon and armor merchant. Pretty cool stuff. Actually, let's see. What do they have? What do they have? I want to warrior equipment. What do you have for sale? Really? You're going to sell regular gear at this? If anybody's made it to Stuttgart, you're not probably in D-grade gear. I'm just saying. Just saying, game. And we got this hobbly old man. What's up, Edwin? What's going on, man? Dude, you're trucking along, buddy. Whoa. Look at him. Look at him go. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so the magic shop we are not a magic user no need to go in there but for those of you that are it's right there and I think we've come around to the other side so yeah Stuttgart is a super cool area if you guys have been out here it's super cool uh, I really enjoy it this is a really a really really interesting um, architecture here and the way they design it kind of into the mountain is really neat so, whoa, what's going on over here? I think there's some special event going on. Look at these guys. I want one of them. How do I get a little dancing dude on a ball? The Just beauty shop. Now, you'll return, right? Use the booty shop. <laughs> you'll be moved to the beauty shop. Let's see what this is all about. Whoa! What? Oh, man. Look. Oh, I can get fancy stuff. Oh, that's... Wow. This probably costs. Give me looks. Oh, dude, that's I got super cool. Look at my cool hair. Does this cost monies? Oh, that's awesome. Monochrome. I I can't choose a different color. I gotta use. If I go with the super big hair like this, I have to. I have to use monochrome. I can't use a different color. That is super weak. Oh, I see. So some of them give you different colors. Oh, actually, the bandanas give you different colors. Ooh. But this guy, monochromatic. All of these. I don't get anything fancy at all. Well, that's kind of dumb. What's the whole point? 15 million? Four beauty shop tickets. I don't think I have any. Okay. Exit. Goodbye. Yeah, I like my haircut. I'm cool. I'm happy with who I am. You know? I'm happy. I love me. 
<laughs> oh, this game is awesome. So I'm going to probably grind it out, and when I bring you guys back in the next episode, I should be at level 70, and we can continue on where we left off in the finale of the last one. And uh, thanks for all the tips, guys. I appreciate all the awesome support. I hope you guys enjoy the series. I'm really excited. This is kind of an introduction to getting ready to go through Helios. Let's get to the end game, peeps. All right, guys, if you like and share in your favorite social media, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.